Hi guys, Whitefield Channel. Welcome back. New collection update. Um, yeah, some stuff that came in, some stuff that I've been waiting for a long time. That fell true, that didn't fell true, that is here, so let's do it. On the turntable is a record that I um, talked about in a previous update, the Black Metal Revivalism Part 1 compilation. Uh, tribute to Lord Puke and Morbid Tunes of Black Angels. Now, when uh, that's quite a mouthful. The uh, time I got it in it was kind of an unboxing, so I wasn't delving into the record as much. Now, as you know by now, this is maybe the comp of comps for this year. Um, I think the only thing that will rival this is a um, compilation that's coming out on Theater of Possessions uh, next year. Uh, this year, sorry, next month. Um, tribute to Lord Puke. Lord Puke is a guy that is, um, I told you the booklet was, um, or I thought the booklet was a, a interview with Danny about uh, how the records came to be, but it is actually a interview Danny did with Lord Puke, a French guy who is uh, steeped in black metal and has these, this uh, compilation series, which this one is based on. So the um, Morbid Tunes of the Black Angels is a tape compilation from France that is that is on part nine by now. So yeah, that's in the book of the um, the interview three pages, which is quite good. It goes not deep, but you need to know what you need to know. This compass Obscure Tatum has uh, Gold Sword or Gold no, no Gold Blood, I think. Uh, yeah, Gold Blood, and then the. Chinese signs, which I didn't know what band it was, is apparently the Ant Commune. Get it? So, um, yeah, nice compilation, great tracks. Uh, what else you need? I, um, there, are, there were a lot comparatively to the other Go to Warwick's releases, so this one should be obtainable. I'm not sure if you want it. That's the first one. Then, let's delve into the updates proper. Um, I have my trusted computer because I have some looking up to do. Um, but yeah, let's start off. Um, I did an RM Bonehead order. I'll show the two. I, uh, let's start off strong with this one. I got uh, Drown of Lights with Valkolasi Rising. Valkolasi Rising? Chi Rising? I'm not sure. It's Vampire Speak, the latest falling by Drown of Lights went up on Iron Bonnet. Um, there is a red version and a black version, I think 100 and 400. This is the red edition. Um, like I said, the latest full length by Drown in the Lights. Asgore's uh, Australian uh, black metal project, which is quite prolific. I talked about it also in the last update with the triple demo compilation. Um, very nice gatefold. Um, I like this record, but it, it's Hard for me to get into the sounds. Um, I don't have that much genre white, but the I love the black metal elements. But the synth work is sometimes a bit too on the melancholy side, and the tone of the synth is not not 100% my thing. But um, it's growing on me the more I listen to it because it's it kind of sticks in your head. But uh, yeah, there's a lot of melancholy on this record. Like I said, the red version, nice pressing by Iron Bonehead, cool center labels. So that was the first thing I snatched up from them. Really nice sleeve production. This also has that, yeah, that marble feel on the sleeve. I don't know if that, sh that won't show up, but um, it has, it's that anti-scratch matte finish that, um, that gives a deep finish to these records. Which I like. Um, and also, I picked this up on a whim because it was cheap as hell. And, uh, you know, the vibe felt good for this one. This is uh, Transylvania with Morbid Majesty. Uh, this was 13, 13 euros, so I thought, why not throw it in? The vibe and the logo reminded me of the early tribulation, so um, that's what I went with. This is on Temple of Darkness and under License of Into Dungeons. Originally released on tape in 2015, so this is the re-release of that demo or that first EP from them. Um, a black metal, well, I'll show you the back, maybe that will shed some light. It is a black metal band or group, um, but it is quite, it's 
quite produced and quite trashy in uh, in how they play it. Their approach to black metal is quite trashy. Um, you can see the um, how they conduct themselves on stage. There is a very hard trash on them. And this will be the team for this video, Purple Vinyl. I've had my green face some videos ago, this will be the purple vinyl. Really nice color for this one and I don't have any purple vinyl and all of a sudden in this update I'm gonna have three or four, so yeah. Um, like I said, a, they're from Austria, I think, Innsbruck and it's a very cheap EP. They have a full length also but uh, I think I'm good with the EP. It is not bad but it's, yeah, it's not bad. Nothing too fancy or anything. Um, then my um, order from Le Fleur du Mal came in, Canadian label par excellence. A lot of tapes already for them, or for them. I did show a lot of tapes. Um, I got two things. I got the Bajmu Black Citadel 7 inch. Uh, I am obsessed with everything Bajmu, so I had to get this one. My man Bog Phantom is really um, talking about prolific. He started about two years ago, maybe, and now his releases just keep growing and growing and growing. Cemetery cover in the back has this both bands Amorfati and Le Fleur du Mal. Just a simple 7 inch comes with this insert, Black Citadel. I thought they were dead, but apparently Black Citadel hails dead. Okay, so I guess yeah. Maybe this was a track from before they were dead. Because I thought the demo or that latest compilation of these sets, or was that funeral altar? I don't know. Somebody's dead for sure. Um, this is just a black seven inch. I don't know the limitation. I, uh, I honestly don't. There were a lot of copies going around, so I don't think it's too limited. Just the same cover artwork on the center labels. Nothing too too fancy, and then there was this flyer that came with it. This is the old tower, and then Black Citadel Bashman. So yeah, excited to have the um, the discography by both these artists grow. Actually, because I'm very fond of both of them, but on a personal level, I'm fond of Bashman just because you know our buddy Bach. And then the other thing I got was uh, the Chez Chesmo Descent of War, the Die Hard, I think they call it Die Hard. Um, this is a foldover instead of the actual cover. The actual cover has some hooded priests walking into a pyramid with a ray of light or something like that. Uh, yeah, Egyptian themed death metal from Canada. Um, I really like the demo tape they did. For the Fleur Mal, so this is the this is the demo tape with one new track or something like that, I think. Um, let's show this one first. This is the cover. I love the cover. It's kind of Rihanna's titty tattoo, but then um, the black metal version. I don't know which goddess that is. Anyway, the back, Sun of War, and I kind of wished they would just include the regular one too so that this would just be a fallover for the regular sleeve that would be an amazing art package but they don't really are complementary the actual sleeve and then this one so yeah this is the inside it's a lot of some info on here Hail Ga, Hail Chesna all music and lyrics by CB Yum on the Whitney Ditty Parkour so yeah love this uh, this is still an EP in my opinion uh, demo plus one track so yeah or the demo or whatever just black um, there is a one this is a one sided this has a dead wax side on that always a pity when they are not fully realized I mean just throw an etching on there or something she has no flyer and then one for the tape release they did, which is this one, uh, all cops. Uh, the tape I showed in one of the tape delay updates. So yeah, uh, all in all a great record. Like I said, I um, I love the demo and the new track is uh, just a nice addition to um, the entire 
discography by these, by these guys. For now. What are we up to next? Yeah. There is a story behind the next ones, of course. This is Nova Ordo Ater from Satanic Warmaster. Um, this is, I'm not sure what this is because, is this a demo or whatever? Oh no, a rehearsal. Uh, Metal Temple rehearsal from 2009. Um, I wasn't going to pick this up because I have acquired a lot of Satanic Warmaster lately, so I had quite the bulk. But um, I ordered the repress for Vajjaf on um, Hell's Headbangers, and then if I show you the next record, you will know why I cancelled this and just asked them to send me this one. Because it was on the list, so uh, why not get it when the getting's good. Um, this is like the Pitrium or Pitrium Satanic Warmaster split. This is a really flimsy, just cardboard sleeve, nothing fancy. It is a rehearsal. So in this case, I get it. I kind of get it. In the case of the other record, that was just a fully realized, nice release, which is a pity then that they just do it this cheap. But in their defense, these are cheap records to get. So I think this was 14, and then that collaboration with Vitrion uh, or Vitron was like 12, 12 dollars or something like that. So you can do a tree fold-out panel, but um, it has to be sellable I guess and when you're doing a lot of releases like werewolf doing, doing. so yeah a rehearsal uh, I haven't put it on yet because I kind of know what it's going to sound like and uh, I know the, some of the tracks on here then the records I have been it's been a while since I've hunted for a record like this one I've maybe sent in total like 30 mails to distros labels people everybody I knew and it was gone um, luckily a, uh, a dark soul, let's call him, hit me up and said the search was over. So uh, this is Varyov with Netherstorm, a one-man band from Finland, um, which does a um, old-school style of black metal with synths that harkens back to the, uh, the first wave Norwegian, like Emperor, um, mainly Emperor, because the that's on here and it's not because of the color but because of the EP that is here. The Glory of the Eternal Night has an Emperor cover on here, so yeah. Uh, Varyov. It is weird that I like this record so much. Um, this is the front and here is the back. I'm not for symphonic elements in black metal or death metal usually but it kind of is creeping in in my head because I'm into or I'm listening a lot to Old Tower and other Dungeons and Projects, so if that kind of creeps into black metal, it's logical that when some symphonic stuff is going to sneak into black metal again, that I'm going to like it anyway. So I love the picture on this one. You can't really see on the front what he's holding or something. I think he's just holding a light because the logo is just running all over. But this is really, it's a really good record. It, is, it, had, a, it had some hype around it, but I think deserved in this case. This is the second purple for this update. And um, it's weird, the, um, the symphonic or the synth parts kind of remind me of Danny Elfman in some, um, in some spots, especially in the first track. I think the beginning notes. Um, it has that, yeah, I'm a huge Batman fan, the Tim Burton one, and um, kind of reminds me of the, the sounds in there. Then it came with the EP, the um, Glory of Eternal Night, like I said. Just two extra tracks, one original and one cover. Uh, the Ancient Queen is by Emperor originally, so yeah. Really nice record. And I'm beyond glad to finally have this one. When uh, the guy mailed me, he had it. Oh man. Just knowing that, I mean, I know it was a game of patience, but just knowing that I don't have to chill out. Um, 120 or 150 or whatever, just to get this record. That's that's always a good thing. And the repress, don't buy on Discogs. Uh, if you can get your hand on first press for what it's worth, get that one. But um, the repress is going to be exactly the same. It's going to be repressed with a picture disc, seven inch, I think, and then the purple is just going to be unlimited. So the black seems to be limited, but the purple still goes for shit tons of money on. Um, 
on these cards. So yeah, wait it out. Then, the guy I picked up the vodka from, or the distro, had also Nord um, Endlicht. Um, this record, the final group I am part of on Facebook, was going nuts over Nord. I'm, I have to be honest, I didn't know it, but I saw it pop up on the distro, it was a good price, and this was already so. There was a black and a silver one, the silver one is already going skyrocketed, but um, I just picked it up out of more out of curiosity because the cover was appealing more. It seems they have quite a back catalog already, so I picked it up. It is something I would be more into, I think, a few years ago. Um, it is more in the vein of it goes. I thought it was black metal, of course, but it goes into the realm of the suns and darker alien projects and stuff like that. I have to listen to it more. I'm. The first inclination was going to be that it was kind of boring, but it's not boring. It is it is just layered and dark and ambient and I mean I have to blast this record real hard and just give it some full attention. This is on uh, Avant Garde. Really like the cover. And this is the black version. It comes with this cool insert, a guy playing the piano with his studded metal belt, track listing and a black final. So yeah, a record that it, on first listen, it didn't blow me away or anything, but there is something there that I can put my finger on. Um, and maybe it's because I haven't heard that kind of music in a long time, or I'm just out, but I think this one will, it's not gonna be in my favorite list, but if I spin it some more times, I think this will be creeping into my head. Ah, thirsty. Had a good weekend if you catch my drift. Then the last four I'm going to show as a bundle. Um, these are the not the latest but the previous update. That's I was saying. The um, previous update from Signal Hex, the Portuguese metal label Extraordinaire run by Flavio. Uh, I think in the last two years they have expanded their scope or their business immensely and the releases they are doing are very worth picking up all the time so uh, yeah it is the Vitala Trono alla Morte split then the Trono alla Morte is it alla Morte? Alla Morte Trono alla Morte split the Woomer or Woomer I'm not sure and then the Disciple Moon uh, compilation so yeah let's dig into them a bit I think I have some more time um, I have to look at something here. The Trono Alam Mortem is Aldebaran. So they're from the Aldebaran or Aldebaran, I'm not sure, circle. Uh, Boomer is, or Boomer, Whammer. Uh, Ordem Satanica also is an Antrono. Oh, those names, Trono M. Well, you know what I'm talking about. So the, these are all from the Aldebaran. Aldebaran Circle, yes, a Portuguese circle that is, uh, I think, located in central Portugal because if you look it up, Aldebaran is a red star somewhere up there that um, is closely linked to some uh, ancient monoliths in the central Portugal. So that's in, that entire story feeds into the, the circle. Um, Trono Alamort is a rather new project, I think, in I don't know when they started, I, I have it here, but um, it doesn't say, no, 2017, so they have a demo, the demo is split with Pitala then, and then there's one of the full length, um, Portuguese raw black metal, so a very young band, and it, I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of people who are in other bands from that circle are also in here, but there is not much info to, uh, to be found on this one, I, uh, I have to dig for that that Red Star stuff, so. Really nice records, really good productions, and these are actually on Harvest of Death and not on Senior Lex. The Harvest of Death is the site label that I thought only did tapes, but uh, apparently they are doing the vinyl releases too now. Um, yes, so that's the first one, a full length by these guys. And then the one I was looking for the most, uh, the split with Vitala. It is, this is a simpler release, 
It is the red version. There was also a white version. Uh, and it opens up to this, like so. Love this picture. Um, with the most finitous guy. It, apparently, he is also in Vital. I didn't know that. So, you can link the entire Portuguese scene, probably, to all these guys. And this is the red version. Um, blistering raw Portuguese black metal, especially Vitala. Really nice record, this one. It is. It looks solid uh, when you're just staring at it, but it's a very light black swirl that goes to this one, which is excellent uh, compared to the artwork of this release. And then the Trono Alla Morte had an insert, but uh, Flavio forgot to put it in, so it's coming with the next update. It has this the extra picture of the white one, but it is the flyer for the releases. The um, Infernus Life at Invicta Requiem Mass 1 is also a record. I didn't see that in the update. It is also a record that I'm curious about, so maybe I'll obtain that sometime. Then the Boomer, uh, maybe the wildest cards in the bunch uh, for these releases. Logo instantly popped into my brain and stuck there, so uh, I opted not to go for the tape and then wait for the vinyl. Uh, yeah, this is the weirdest sounding um, in the bunch actually. The others are raw black metal. This is not really raw but also not produced, but this has clean instruments. There is not a lot of distortion on this one, so um, quite an instrument record. And like I said, I haven't been into this full, so um, this is more of a pink red vinyl with some um, with some black streaks going through it, which is weird. I mean, there are. It's weird how different all these records are. They are produced, I think, in the same uh, pressing plant, so, you yeah. know, depends on the vinyl, I guess. And then the last one is the Dice Sepulchral Moon um, demo compilation. And Dice Sepulchral Moon is a band, I should say, that is split up between Korea and Canada, so members are in. Um, yeah, are in Korea, I think South Korea, of course, yes, South Korea and Canada. Uh, these, this band is part of the 444 Reich circle that also has Reek, uh, for example, Reek of Dance and Gas Films. Uh, these guys are in there and there are two or three more bands that are, uh, yeah, I don't know, I, I'm blanking on the, um, on the page, but on the page, I'm blanking on the names, but this has the stamp or the uh, sigil of the 4444 Reich going into this. And uh, apparently I asked Danny, I think, um, what it stands for or what it means, because I thought it was a go to war thing, but apparently it stands for, the word for and the word death are, um, are apparently the same in a lot of Asian languages, so uh, that's why apparently there are no four floors on, uh, on a lot of buildings. It has this one again. This is a Taisa Poker Moon is a is black metal but very chaotic, very there are some elements of not war metal but that insanity that runs through it. There are some tints of grinds here and there, so um, yeah. Really nice production. If you see this, this kinda has that tetragramicide feel to it, you know. The artwork. Kind of black metal, war metal crossover. But a really cool um, yeah, a really cool record for them to, to release and for uh, for the label. A compilation of a lot of demo materials and other stuff. Just a bunch of tracks thrown in together. And this is the purple marbled. Also looks like a solid, but when you have a light between it, it is a very cool marbled, almost a clear purple vinyl um, that they did for this release. So that is the last one, I think. The record's done. That was side A, of course. So, yeah. Nice compilation. Uh, really good bunch of records, in my opinion. There is some stuff I need to delve back into, like the Nord compilation. Um, because, like I said, Vagidov and Chesmo have been playing a lot, and then some older stuff. And I've been listening to some regular music, too, not just blasting black metal all the time. Uh, the new Soft Moon came in, so that was on a heavy rotation. That will be in the next pop edition of the year. Um, is there something more I should say? No, I don't think so. Um, it could be that this is going dark for a while, this channel. Um, 
just because I still have some videos I have to do like the soundtracks for Eric and um, some noise stuff and stuff like that but when I feel like it when I have the time um, yeah there is some stuff coming in of course but um, not that much so no new and collection videos there is going to be a tape delay for all you tape fiends I think there are those have the most loyal viewers of all the videos for some reason a lot of people dig tapes and the next one is going to be bonkers so yeah you can look forward to that guys i'm going to have to start cooking for the family so have a nice weekend what's left of it and i'll see you i don't know maybe next week maybe the week bye